what we're facing here on this planet now is not simply an economic crisis. We're facing a species crisis. This atmosphere on this planet has never experienced more than 250 parts carbon per million in the last one million years, all right? Last one million years, geological record shows we've never gone over 250 parts carbon per million. Now recall that our species is the youngest species here on the planet. We're the babies. We've been here 175,000 years. Beginning with the Industrial Age, we began to see the CO2, the industrial-induced methane, the nitrous oxide go up, and we went to 300 parts carbon per million, and then we went to 350 parts carbon per million. Now, let me let you in on a little story. I advised the European Union. We went to Copenhagen, and we were hoping to talk the world into mitigating CO2 at 450 parts per million. That's it. No further with the thought that we would go up two degrees. That's devastating, two degrees, but we might survive. Then James Hansen threw us a curve in Brussels. James Hansen is the chief climatologist, as many of you know, for the United States government. He's the head of the NASA Goddard Space Institute. And he said to us in the EU, you've got your numbers wrong. He took a team of scientists down into the oceans. They looked at the geological record. And they said, if we mitigate at 450 parts per million, and no one wants to do that except the EU, we don't go up two degrees. And I want every parent in this room to hear this. We go up six degrees Celsius in this century. And to paraphrase Dr. Hansen, the end of human civilization as we've come to know it. Last week, the devastating news reported by the scientific community the current readings in the Arctic, we have now tipped over 400 parts per million, way ahead of schedule on the models. This is devastating. Devastating. We've had two events in the last four years that I believe signal the beginning of the end game for the great industrial revolutions based on fossil fuels.